That was beautiful. Let's 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 put our hands together, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. All right. Go to 50 people and give them a COVID handshake and tell them. I see God supernaturally providing some things for you in the next seven days. Do me a song. For you were a child, you were in love, child. For enough, I will be content in every circumstance. You are Jira, you are enough. Oh, yeah, Jira, you are enough. Whatever it is, I will be content in every circumstance. For you are Jaira, you are in love. All right, take your seats in the presence of God. And God bless all of you for coming tonight. 1 Kings 17, the verse 8 through 16. 1 Kings 17, 8 through 16. Then the word of the Lord came to Elijah saying, Arise. What's happening? Huh? Go to Zarephath, who belongs to Sidon. Everybody say Sidon. And dwell there. See, I have commanded a widow there to provide for you. So he arose and went to Zarephath. And when he came to the gate of the city, indeed a widow was there gathering sticks. And he called to her and said, Please bring me a little water in a cup that I may drink. And as she was going to set it, to get it, he called to her and said, Please bring me a muscle of bread in your hand. So she said, As the Lord your God lives, I do not have bread. Only a handful of flour in a bin and a little oil in a jar. And see, I am gathering a couple of sticks that I may go in and prepare it for myself and my son that we may eat and die. And Elijah said to her, Do not fear. Go and do as you have said. But make some, but make me a small cake from it first and bring it to me. And afterward, make some for yourself and your son. For thus says the Lord, God of Israel, the bin of flour shall not be used up, nor shall the jar of oil run dry. In essence, your bank account will not go zero. Until the day the Lord sends rain on the earth. So she went away and did according to the word of Elijah. And she and he and her household ate for many days. The bin of flour was not used nor did the jar of oil run dry according to the word of the Lord which he spoke by Elijah I'm speaking briefly on what I've titled supernatural provision you read verse number one of the same chapter Israel had gone what we call apostasy, doing things their way as against the will and the theocracy of God. 
The Bible said Elijah the Tishbite in the verse number one stood and made a public declaration that as my God liveth, there shall not be rain for three and a half years. Of all the things in the world, I've been asking myself a question. Why didn't he pronounce any other thing than to declare that there shall be not be rainfall for three and a half years? And whilst reading scriptures, once I chanced on a scripture that said that Israel was a mountainous place and it was not like Egypt where they had a lot of rivers like the river Nile for irrigation. And so Israel would depend on the rains of heaven to survive. So for him to bind the heavens and declare there shall not be rain for three and a half years meant that he was really holding Israel at their throat to make sure that you will have no other chance than, return, than to return to God. And I had once somebody said the other day that these were fictions. They were mere stories. And I read through the book of Luke chapter 4 verse 25 when Jesus affirms this story in the new covenant by saying but I tell you truly many widows were in Israel in the days of Elijah when the heavens were shut up three years and six months and there was a great famine throughout all the land that tells you and I that Jesus attested of this fact that of a truth there was famine in the days of Elijah when he closed the heavens and made a decree that there shall not be rain for three and a half years to expound it deeper James 5 7 James also reiterated this in James 5 17 when James said Elijah was a man with nature like us and he prayed earnestly that it would not rain and it did not rain on the land for three and six months three years and six months to tell you ladies and gentlemen that these two strong examples in the bible one from jesus one from his own brother james the senior pastor of the early church to let you and i know that this is not just a mere story it did really happen but the good news is that when elijah made that decree and said there shall be no rain for for three and a half years god came to elijah and told him that after you stood for me i got to stand for you let me digress and say this anytime you stand for god he stands for you the bible said god told elijah that now move out of this land to the brook of chariots and stay there for some time i have provided for you there and ravens will be coming to take care of you and by that brook you will have water the bible says he stayed there for some time and whilst the brook of chariot was about to be dried up god came to elijah again and told him that move to zarephath i have commanded a widow there let me say this there is a place called there for everybody he said when you get there you find a woman and provision will come from there so i discovered that there is a place called there when you get there provision becomes inevitable i prophesied that this year 2022 the steps of a good man shall be ordered to that place called there where every desire of your heart every expectation of your heart every door expected to be open shall be open I prophesy that in the name of Jesus morning afternoon evening night dawn you shall be brought to that place called there if you believe it clap your hands and scream like your voice is yours I had a little problem with the story when I read it. You see, God told Elijah to go to Zarephath, one of the cities of Sidon. Ever say Sidon? Now, so more or less like go to Central Region, particularly Anomabo. Or go to Central Region, particularly Cape Coast. So you go to Zarephath, one of the cities of Sidon. Sidon was the main capital. Of that very jurisdiction, the Sidon was one of the cities. Are we together? Hello, are we together? Now come with me to 1 Kings 16 31. Quickly, let's glean through scriptures that we can come to the main thing. 
1 Kings 16 31 and it came to pass as though it had been a trivial thing for him to walk in the sense of Jeroboam the son of Nebath that he took as wife Jezebel the daughter of Ethbal king of the Sidonians and he went and served Baal and worshipped him. Now here the Bible is telling us that Jezebel was the daughter of a man called Ethbal, the king of the Sidonians. In essence, that very geographical location God told Elijah to go and then from there move on to Zarephath called Sidon was the very geographical location where Jezebel, the witch, who married Ahab, the king of Israel, hailed from or came from. Now, and Jezebel was the daughter of the king of Sidon. And this is the same town where this widow at Zarephath came from. And God sent Elijah to go to this very town called Sidon and there move on to Zarephath. And over there you will find a widow who will take care of him. Now don't forget that Elijah was so Somebody that had a problem with Jezebel to a point where Elijah prophesied against the land of Israel because Jezebel had turned the hearts of Israel to go worship the Baal gods. And on the Mount of Camel, the Bible said Elijah took a, a cutlass and killed 450 prophets of Baal. That day, the Bible said Jezebel became pissed and said, By next day, I will make sure I deal with Elijah. So there was this animosity between the two of them. Now God sent Elijah to no other place than the town of his greatest enemy. It was here I realized that sometimes if God wants to bless you, he takes you to places you don't like and connect you with people you don't like. And I'm here to announce to you that a miracle is coming with your name on it, but it will certainly sometimes come from places you don't like, from people you don't like you got to be wise to still walk on the road of Sidon and remember that the owners of Sidon or the king of Sidon has a daughter called Jezebel but if my food is in Sidon then no matter my hatred for Jezebel I will still walk on the grounds of Sidon and look for the widow at Zarephath and take my blessing it's a wise man who will see gold in the dust hates the dust but loves the gold and will extrapolate the good from the dust anywhere. This year may God give you wisdom so that even though you meet people you don't like, you like the things they have, you will have wisdom to be able to tangle with them and take what they have for you. If you believe it, clap your hands and give God praise in the house, somebody. I thought you clap for that one. Paul in the new covenant had been told by God I'm taking you to Rome from Jerusalem for standing for me and route to Rome his boat capsized and found himself in the chapter 8 in a land called Melita or Malta and the Bible said when he got there there were these barbarous men historically it's believed that these were Romans who went to fight in the days of Augustus and after they were done fighting as military men. Some of them had their hands amputated, their legs amputated. And then Augustus gathered all of them, bundled them, and dropped all of them on this island. You can imagine the pain, the head. We stood for our country. We fought for our land. And after that, instead of us to be rewarded, they put us in this segregated place and they seclude us from the country because we are amputated. So you can you can feel the bitterness, the hurt. The Bible said they were caught barbarous men. You played the buffoon around them, they kill you. They were that bitter. These were soldiers of war who had their hands amputated and their nation had not appreciated them. But the Bible says that Paul and his men got their boat capsized and all of a sudden they found themselves in Melita. Ladies and gentlemen, in the midst of people who are hateful, I was thinking they were going to kill them, harm them. But 
in the verse chapter the verse number one of chapter 28 of act chapter act chapter 28 the bible says that these men showed them no little kindness to a point where they created heat by fire and they gave them warmth and i'm like wait a minute these barbarous men who were supposed to kill these strangers who had been brought to the island and in the stead of their harming them they show them no little kindness it was here i discovered that this year ladies and gentlemen in the midst of the jezebels in their cities of sidon in their cities of sidon in the midst of all the confusion god will use bad people to be good to you i declare over your life that 2022 you will be in the midst of lions yet yeah, though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death but i will fear no evil for thou shalt be with me your rod and your staff they comfort me if you believe blessings are coming from wicked people this year into your hands stand up clap and scream yes David was after the Amalekites when they went to fight against the people of Ziklag. And the Bible tells us that when the Amalekites fled, David came with his men and realized that their wives and their children had been taken into captivity. What happened was that the strong men of David, 600 of them, army men, warriors with sophisticated weaponry, that they came to David and started weeping. The Bible said they wept until they had no more breath to weep and they thought of stoning David. And whilst they were contemplating stoning him, David took the effort, went before the Lord and prayed and said, shall I pursue the Amalekites and God said pursue them overtake them without fail make sure you recover everything and so David ran after the Amalekites on the way when they got to the brook Bezo Bezo in the Hebrew means a place of coldness and let me digress and say this sometimes you get to a place where people are cold as a pastor you get to a place where your members are cold as a husband you get to a place where the relationship is cold as a child sometimes you feel cold towards your parents it's there it's part of life the bible said 200 of them retracted but david was not perturbed and perplexed at all he still kept pursuing you see if you have a mandate and an assignment on your life and you head from god to pursue overtake and recover even when men are cold you got to keep pressing paul said this one thing i do i forget the things that are behind and i press towards the mark of the higher calling and whilst they press they trans on an amalekite the bible said they trans on an egyptian sorry he apparently was one of the servants of the amalekites now don't forget that israel had a problem with the egyptians because of the 430 years of slavery that israel had been through in the hands of the pharaohs so for david to have met this egyptian who was a servant of the amalekites if i were david i would have killed him but david realized that sometimes your greatest blessings come from your greatest enemies so he sat him down and asked him some few questions and realized the man had diarrhea on the way so his boss amalekites left him behind david gave the man food and gave him water and asked him where are the amalekites and the man gave them directions as to where the amalekites are i discovered that the person may call himself an enemy but if you can give him a little water and some few cakes he can give you direction to where your miracle is i declare this year that god will let you see jezebel and still know that in the mouth of jezebel is your food from the hands of the widow at zarafach i see this rock sitting ladies and gentlemen in the desert naturally rocks don't provide water you may think it was an ordinary rock but god said to israel strike the rock and water will come out of it ladies and gentlemen water doesn't come out of rocks but in this case water came out of the rock to let you know that there could be rocky situations but water can come out of them this year may water come out of your rocky situations where there is your jezebel may there be your blessing one day samson killed 
killed a lion on his way to Tamna to go marry. And the Bible said when he was returning, he saw some bees that had created only on the carcass of the lion. The lion that was meant to kill him had provided food for Samson, and Samson went and ate the honey. May every lion meant to kill you this year provide food for you. If you believe it, clap and scream, yes, 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 yes. Tell your neighbor, I see God doing some mind-boggling things for you this year. And it will be marvelous in our side. Are you clapping for that? And he went there, met the woman. Anytime God gives you a word, all his promises in him are yea and amen. His promises he will not alter. Because he's not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. As he said anything, and he will certainly make it good. I came to tell you that any prophecy you've received, God will ensure tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. By 31st December this year, you will have all those prophecies come to a full shape. Father, take record. Anybody clapping should receive a testimony. Zarephath, I have commanded a woman there and when she meets with you she will provide for you I was thinking that Elijah was going to meet something that was not in line with what he had but he got there right at the entrance of the city the widow at Zarephath was standing there gathering sticks and Elijah supernaturally connected and realized this was the woman God spoke about let me prophesy this year I see divine connections I said I see divine connections you bump into people God has divinely orchestrated their steps even to stand at some strategic positions to meet with you I prophesy you meet them in your going out and in your coming in in the morning in the afternoon in the night in the dawn you will meet your helpers if you believe in club and school Yes, 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 yes. He first requested, give me water. Don't go straight by requesting for food. Start from a level. It's food you need, but begin with water. Which means know how to talk. Have a bargaining advantage. Which means that when he comes to propose to you, that same they don't tell him that you need a car if you are wise. He may close the door and never come back because he will think that you are seeing him as a bank. I need water. And when the woman was on the way, Elijah said, excuse me, ma'am, could you please add some cakes? And she said, I don't have cakes, I have flour. And even the one I have, I'm going to bake some little cake. Myself, my child will eat and will die. Elijah said, go ahead, you just do exactly that. But whilst you are doing it, remember the prophet and take care of me. Know how to talk. Don't let them feel you are selfish and egocentric. We are making a request, but let them know you care so much also about them. <laughs> to cut long story short, the woman went, fixed the cake and brought it to the prophet. The prophet took it in and then the woman ate and the Bible says that the barrel of flour and the cruise of oil never ran dry throughout the three and a half years of farming and I think it's very supernatural when a little cake kept growing every day a little flower in that bin keeps multiplying for three and a half years I think that is supernatural and whilst I was waiting on God God told me go tell RCC members and all our online viewers and those watching Rima TV and everybody watching us that this year some crazy things are going to take place in your life you go to your bank 
and you know that you made two thousand Ghana from it and instead of it to show red you will see another two hundred thousand sitting in their car waiting for you i know you don't believe in miracles but that is what i'm talking about how is this you did not build vineyards you did not plant i prophesy on you philippians 4 19 my god shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by christ jesus psalm 104 verse number 27 these all wait for you psalm 104 verse 27 these all wait for you that you may give them their food in those season god can give you your food in those season and in this season that we are in of this pandemic i came to announce to you i should look to jesus the author and the finisher of your faith he said i should tell you from proverbs 23 18 surely there is a hereafter and thine expectations shall never be cut off that means that every desire of your heart this year that car you want that house you want that job you want that marriage you want that child you want he said i should tell you by the close of the year your expectations shall never be cut off if you believe in the god of miracles stand up clap and scream yes I said scream yes. I said scream yes. Lift your hands up. Say oh Lord. I didn't hear you say oh Lord. As I clap and I pray. Let there be supernatural provision. Provide every need. In the morning, the afternoon, the night at dawn. Can you clap and lift a prayer and talk to your God? My God, provide. Supply every need. Come on. Labakusha Abali. Restekanda Limakuda. Yababaka Dadigita Ganda. Kragrasa Kradadasta Kradi. Limu Kashanda Katai. In the name of Jesus up and take your seats three ways God supernaturally provides our needs and the first one is that he uses the ravens he uses the ravens that's why I call it supernatural if you read the verse numbers one downwards when the drought began God told him I'm going to send the ravens and twice every day the ravens will bring food in the famine they get the food and they don't think about themselves and they think only about the prophet if god is on your side ladies and gentlemen he sends the ravens your way to come feed you so 1 king 17 4 to 7 and it will be that you shall drink from the brook and i have commanded the ravens god commanded the birds to come and feed you there and you have to understand that the ravens, according to studies, were a certain kind of birds that were very selfish. It's believed that the ravens are so selfish that if they are hungry, they can even eat them, their flesh themselves. Then they'll be eating their flesh. It's believed that when they get food, they will never think about their children. They will make sure they think about themselves first before they think about their, their children. That's selfish. But in the famine, they got food and twice every day, they will never think about themselves with all their selfishness, but they first think about the prophet. To let you know that in this season, the most selfish of men will find things and they will not think about themselves and their children. The first person they will think about is you. Oh. It's believed that the ravens are dumb. And most often, apart from their crowing, they will never speak because they don't have voices to talk. But how come birds that are dumb and could not hear and could not talk could hear God? Ladies and gentlemen, because he commanded them. It was here I discovered that people who are dumb to the spirit and they don't hear God talk them in your case we hear god when he commands them to give you the job and to give you the promotion i prophesy that somebody is coming with a contract worth about one million dollars and you will ask yourself how come this man had god because we know him to be that very austere man who does not hear god i said god will command him because if you command the raven then get ready he can command
command your enemies to come and give you what you deserve if you believe you clap and scream like your voice is yours i said scream like your voice is yours and i am in america i'm in australia i'm in canada i see god commanding some people an auntie a cousin a niece who must sign some check someone who must send some west indian somebody who must put a call through i see a fiance i see a boyfriend i see a wife a husband who must do some things but it's the later that god will move some partners i know they are stiff neck but i see the heart of a king in the hands of god and it turns us like water to where he wanted to be if you believe that god is commanding robin stand up clap and scream yes i said stand up and scream yes i said scream yes that uncle that master that friend that brother who must give you the fifty thousand? and the person is acting like he has not heard it tonight in his dream god will interrupt with his dream and god will give him a vision god will command the raven can you clap and scream like your voice is yours whilst you are shouting god is commanding some people I said, what's your shouting? Go, I am Osha. Rabba, Baba, Baba, Shaka, Kabaya. Rabba, Baba, stand behind her. I just saw fire. I just saw fire. Stand behind her. I call a Shaka, Kabaha. Allah, Baku, Shada, Dabaha, Yaya. Rabba, Baku, Shada. Somebody scream. If a raven could hear the voice of God, then certainly a witch will hear the voice of God. They want to kill you, but God will tell them, my daughter is untouchable. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. I prophesy on you and your children that God will secure your boundaries. That a thousand shall fall at your side, ten thousand at your right, but none of them will get close to you. Can you shout yes? I see the ravings coming. 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 I see the ravings coming from the east, the south, the west, and the north. I see them coming. I see them. I am Good news, good news. From, from sources you don't expect. Good news from sources. Good news from sources you don't expect. Good news from sources. So now, let me preach. I, I discovered after studies that the ravens are afraid of man. When a raven is sitting here and he sees Brookman coming, the raven will fly away right now. They are afraid of man. But when God commanded them, they forgot their, their fear and they still flew on top of Elijah to drop the fall. This year, the people who are afraid of you because they've heard some bad things about you. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the church were afraid, the church of Damascus were afraid of Paul because they had heard some bad things about him and Ananias wouldn't want to go and pray for Saul because they had heard some bad things about him. But when God spoke to Ananias that I've appointed him to pray to the Gentiles, he forsook all his fear and went and laid hand the first time. The Bible says, and Ananias called him brother Saul. God has sent me to you. They are afraid of you, but they will call you brother. I declare that your past will not stampede your future. I prophesy that it's true. They've heard some things about you, but God will change their minds. I said, God will change their minds. I said, God will change their minds. Can you stand up, clap, and scream? Yes. fear men they are selfish but once supernatural grace locates you for supernatural provision 
God will move beds. Beds that are fearful, that are dumb, deaf, and selfish to come and take care of your needs. They're not clapping. Number two, he will use widows. The widows in Israel in those days were on the national welfare scheme. Apparently, presuppose that they were very poor people because it's believed that their husbands are alive will fend for them. Now, so if their husbands are passed, that means that they are very poor, especially when they have children. Then single parents, they are going to make sure they do everything possible to take good care of their children and raise them. It wasn't easy. Like I think in Second Kings chapter 4, verse 1, down was a whole prophet dies and left two children and the wife was in the house when the creditors, I don't know why a prophet was owing and died and left death behind. Don't speak in tongues and die a pauper. Don't listen to these journalists too. Who sits on radio? I had one journalist, some small boy, saying a pastor that driving big cars and those. Meanwhile, he was driving a jeep. I've been preaching for 30 years and over. And you were a small boy who just completed SHS. Even you want to own a house. I did medicine. If I had practiced, I probably would have been richer than this. And they expect us with all the knowledge we have. And when I hear them talk, I see pastors are backward. I pastor 200 churches. You cannot be stupid and be a pastor over 200 churches. So they should take time and give us a break. Am I communicating here? But when God decides to show up, he uses widows apart from the ravens. And widows are the most ostracized people in the community. Nobody classifies them to be anybody in the community. But God always takes the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. For him to have sent Elijah, Elijah to go to the widow means that expect big things out of little things. I was in the office last three days, last four days or so, when a young man in this shed came to me and said, God spoke to him to bring 10,000 cities. A very young man, very, very young. I looked at him and I was like, how will you eat? And he said, God spoke to me to bring 10,000 Ghana. When I was going, the Lord just whispered to me, you don't need people with big stomach in your church. I can use anything. You, you, you ain't clapping. Are you clapping like that? Hey! This year, get ready. God will embarrass you with some blessings. Places you have not imagined. Doors you have never thought of. The windows are Zarephath. The less people in the cities of your greatest enemies, God will use them to take care of your need. And I see the doors opening at places you least expect. If you believe it, stand up and scream your loudest. Amen. Whilst you are shouting, the doors are opening. I said clap and scream. Amen. the least privileged that's why you got to be careful the people sitting around you they may be sitting there wearing a slippers and wearing some t-shirts but master they could have your solution in their hands they need they just need to put a call through and a contact to be established so stop taking people for granted tell somebody about you you need me and i need you you are, you are not clapping at all He will also give you divine supply or supernatural provision by releasing, releasing angels. 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 Wasn't only the widow and the bird that provided for Elijah. 1 Kings 19, 5 to 8. Then as he lay and slept under a broom tree. Some of you are going with me on missionary programs and you want to sleep in five-star hotels 
Elijah was sleeping under a broom tree. Was sleep, a whole prophet was sleeping under a broom tree. Some of you are going, we're going for one program. One brother we're going with said that I need a room of my own. I said, brother, the people I go with, they sleep in pairs. If you're not ready, don't follow me. Elijah was sleeping under a broom tree. Suddenly, an angel touched him and said to him, Arise, eat. Then he looked, and there by his head was a cake baked of coals and a jar of water. And he ate and drank and laid down again. And the angel of the Lord came back the second time and touched him and said, Arise, eat. Because the journey is too great for you. 2022, the journey is too great for us. 365 days. That's why you need some angelic food, some angelic visitation, some divine provision. I know you are educated. I know you are smart. I know your intelligentsia is such that you can have some contacts here and there. But in the midst of all your connections, you need God to send an angel your way. Am I communicating? But you see, I saw some details here. Let's run through them the bible tells us that and suddenly suddenly an angel touched him if it is supernatural and it is from the angel of the lord and it's from the department of heaven then it will be a sudden work i pray that god will do a sudden work in your life when i say sudden work i mean what you must get in 20 years and you get it in two days a thousand years is like a day unto the lord and i declare your 24 hours a miracle if Joseph a prisoner within 24 hours became a prime minister then suddenly there shall be a miracle in your life before February 4th somebody will own a car somebody will have a contract somebody will have a breakthrough am I preaching to somebody let there be a sudden work in your life I prophesy that God will work speedily on your behalf if it's an angelic work it will be a sudden work if you believe it, stand up and say, Sudden! Can I continue? The Bible says, When Elijah finished eating and slept off some food, when it tastes good, when he finished eating, you sleep. As soon as he slept, the angel came the second time and woke him up and prepared another meal. If it's supernatural, it will not be once, it will be twice, it may even be thrice. If God opens a door, nobody shuts. Ladies and gentlemen, you read through scriptures any dream that was from God given to people like uh, Pharaoh and like the book of nature because it was from God it came not once it came twice uh, because ladies and gentlemen by the mouth of two or three witnesses a matter is established if it's from God it will come twice uh, that's why if you are here dating somebody and for no reason the person doesn't call you again my sweetheart relax uh, if it's from God the guy will come back again uh, I'm preaching to somebody if it's from God it will come back again uh, the Bible says and Job said uh, that I had a dream in the night uh, and the dream was said that it came not once nor twice it came thrice uh, if it's from God uh, it will come twice uh, if you had a dream and you woke up and you can't remember don't wake yourself up uh, just go to sleep again uh, if it's from God it will come back if it's not from God forget about it it will not come up I declare tonight uh, that your expectations shall never be cut off I see it coming back again uh, I see it coming back again. Lift your leg and shout yeah. I said shout yeah. Say yes, 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 yes. Tell your neighbor it is coming back. It's coming back. This apple tree you want to go. You went the first time and you don't get the visa. If it's from God, you will get the visa. And some of you, some second opportunities are granted you. I see God of the second chance opening another chapter for you again. Lamu Shandabahaya. Can you clap and scream? Yeah. The angel came a second time. I said, 
God giving you another chance. I said, I see God giving you another chance. I know you blew it the first time, but he will call Abraham twice. Abraham, Abraham. And so if you call it the first time and you miss the call, he's calling you once again. If you even messed up, he's calling you once again. He called Samuel three times. Samuel could not for Tom. Who was the caller? He went to Eli. Eli said this third time, go lie on your bed. If you hear it, say, speak for the servant. Hear it. I was thinking God was going to be tired of him and said, I will never call him again. But God came back and called Samuel. Ladies and gentlemen, he's the God of all flesh. Is there anything too difficult for him? He will give you another chance again. If you had a pregnancy and it's miscarried, I see God giving you a double for your troubles. If you had a job and the job was taken from you, I see God open another chapter again. Can I prophesy to somebody? He will come back again and cook another cake and tell you to eat it because the journey is too great. Can you clap and scream here? Yeah? along if it's from God it will stay a little longer it will stay with you for some time don't joke with dreams you had 10 years ago and every day you wake up the thing is still standing in your heart if it's from God it will stay with you for a long time because God is eternal so anything from him stays or lasts Be careful of this, your relationship with him. That for no reason you fight, you break apart, you all go and chase other things and come back. You fight, you go, chase other things, come back. Sometimes it could be God saying that forget about him, but sometimes it could be God saying you are meant together. That's why you go uh, and you still come back. <laughs> Today I'm dealing with some things. Eh? Are you clapping for the word? <laughs> if it's from God, some of you cannot leave this church. No, no, no. You are called for here. That's why because we have where they Then. Okay, what the Mekosa, Bishop, or Beka can I dream? But anyway, we are, we are meant to be together. <laughs> we are in this forever. So you better get used to me. Are you clapping like that? <laughs> so now let me preach the word. Glory to God. Now let's look at. Can I get deeper? Oh. Can I get deeper? Mm. Three things you have to do to be able to access your supernatural provision, and it will be done for today. Glory to God. Number one, you must make the Lord your delight. You should delight yourself in the Lord. Delight yourself in the Lord. Psalm 37, verse 4. Psalm 37 verse 4, delight yourself in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Now, watch me. Now, let's assume, uh, Pastor Dana, come here. Let's assume you are the widow of Zarephath. May God forbid. I mean, uh, just an example. Stand there for me. I like your jacket. Um, you meet Elijah. You don't know me from anywhere. You are from Sidon. I'm from Israel. Two different nationalities. You are gathering sticks. I just bumped you in the midst of COVID. And I said, Madam, can you go home and organize some cake for me? The Dana I know will give you reasons why. Are you clapping for the sound word? And 
if she is in her element that day, probably going to audit people. She will take a calculator and try to let you know why you are not part of her program that day. I thought somebody's clapping. Can I be real? I don't know you. You may look like a prophet, but you're not part of my program. But this woman delights herself so much in the Lord that her preoccupation is to make sure. And don't forget that she came from a city of witches and wizards. The land was full of idol worship. That, that is the town Jezebel came from. She imported foreign gods and brought them from Israel, from Sidon. The Sidonians were known for their idol worship. So let's assume this woman was an idol worshiper, yet she, as soon as she heard the Lord, she delighted herself in the Lord. Oh, you can sit down. Oh, look at you. Can, can I preach? Some of you, if your husband comes to tell you that I have a call of God on my life, who best say now I'm a call now? Who was that? Say when are they? Let me let me come here. Let me score. Let me score. Let me. Yeah, one from. Let me score. No, out of coverage area. yourself in the Lord. Some of you are so jealous that you even be jealous when your husband says that he's going to even pray in the church. The jealous. Delight yourself in the Lord. Delight yourself in the Lord. Delight, delight, delight yourself. Delight yourself. Ma, 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 delight yourself. If I look at how some of you dress on Monday morning going to work, and the energy with which you are going because I don't know, remember, 2,200 Ghana cities. One more is them crack. Can I? And I will talk. Am I preaching the Bible here? It's all gold, but delight. I want to see the same enthusiasm, the same zeal, the same energy, the same commitment towards the things of God. The Bible says, seek first the kingdom and its righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Why do you make up to go to work and you come to check with your pimples? What's your problem? Why do you iron your clothes to work, but you come to check with some funny baby Mr. Beast? Ah, no, no, no. Oh, hallelujah. Now you are woke up lie. She said you are woke saved ya. One more and some more suspects. Is that a good one? Somebody scream. Let me preach the word. They said you are woke saved ya. Man, I'm in your man, you When you are playing the organ, when you are playing the bass, the drum, when you are dancing, some of you mobile so that why is a class? You have a praise and out now say some. What do you say? Any upon? But who who come bono party now? Oh, no more yoho. Your clapping is a suspect. Delight. We are praising God and one song is sung by the choir leader and it's even a new song. Don't quickly shrink and stand like that. Delight. And no fair with the phone and sa. Delight yourself. Listen. Oh, good word. 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 Uh, am I am I preaching to Alaboko? I cannot talk a little about delighting yourself in the Lord. Some of you think some of us are useless and crazy for the things we do. I preach this morning and I'm preaching this evening. Some of you think so. Oh, daddy, the only yeah, tears you're not doing it. She said, "I didn't have fun." Madriye pao. 
my delight is in the Lord. Some of you, if we tell you the things we go through and still come and stand and pray for you to laugh, you have no idea. But I just can't see myself saying I've taken one day off. Maybe I'm born again 33 years. I can count the number of Sundays I didn't go to church. And you can be an BBB, BBB. Because I don't mean that I do a BBB, I didn't change them. I want to be in his presence. Anytime you get to a point where I would dance, sell because sorry, Baba Slide. I was glad. David said, when they said to me, let us go into the house of God. If coming to church is a duress, if coming to church is a problem, then baby, there is an issue here. The Bible says, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the word of the sinner, nor sit on the seat of the scornful. His delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. That man shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. He will bear his foot in his season, his leaves will not wither. What he does, he shall prosper. Ladies and gentlemen, come to a place where, as the deer pant after the brook of waters, so my soul longs for him. Delight yourself. Point your finger on someone and say, Delight yourself in the law. And he will grant you the desires of your heart. No wonder the three and a half years of farming ended with this woman still having enough in her house. Uh, she took care of herself, took care of the prophet, and took care of the child. Why? Because she delighted herself in the Lord. As you desired this year 2022 to delight yourself in the Lord. Look at the first thing, and you are busily doing it. I'm here to announce to you He will supply every need, He will supernaturally provide every need, He will make sure every desires of your heart shall be met. He will open some contracts. He will open some doors. He will bless you on every side. He will give you promotion. He will let you hit your target on the sales. If you believe it, clap and scream, yes. Number two. You should totally trust the law. Totally. Total dependence. Apart from delighting yourself in him, you should totally depend on him. Now here, I want to ask you a question. Look at me. Do you believe God is real? My level of faith in God has shifted to another level. Are you in the house? My love for him has heightened. I've, I've, I've shifted in my love for him. And I discovered you can walk with him for years and still not get deeper with him as expected. So Paul, after walking with him for 30 years, said that I may know him. Paul. Madam, what did you do? And I said, I also could not be join me. And I also said, I will be a what do you mean? And I always say, a baby, you pay it. And a baby, oh, yeah, I depressed now. I also could come to you, said, I bet now, tea, baby, and I'm why I hack across the hair, man. You do you do you understand what you are doing? It's God we are serving. So, what can I see? When you're my best son. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Not some more. All. Oh. 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 You follow friends to some places. But he says, put a scripture there. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, 
acknowledge him and he shall direct your path in all not some of your ways in all your ways in all including your marital ways by force Trust in the Lord with all your heart. 30 years and so what? 31 years and so what? 29 years and so what? Trust in the Lord with all your heart that God will never leave me nor forsake me. God is so faithful that when the time comes, he will do as he pleases. My car, he will give it to me when God. He made all things beautiful in this time. I trust in God. I will not do some nyama nyama thing be together. I will look unto him, the altar and the flesh of my faith. I am so confident in him that if he could create the whole world in six days, he can use one minute to give me a testimony of a lifetime. God, I believe in you. The Bible said the earth is the Lord's. The fullness of a day that dwell therein. If he's the owner of the earth, he can order my steps for me to access my blessing God I will not be quick to run ahead of you I will wait for all the days of my appointed time Job said shall I wait until my chain come God promotion does not come from the east from the west nor the south I will not go and sleep with any boss if they won't give it to me let them take it but I know promotion comes from you you will open the door telling Jesus I could not get a catch look five five but Simon answered and said to him master we have toiled all night and caught nothing nevertheless at your word I will land down into the deep for a catch at the word total obedience but so what can dia Fine. I should not be equally yoked together with an unbeliever. A day because Bran Waya dear to say Radi, we be a come at so be sure me fine to make the dead gypsy me idea, but what can they What can they ever find, sir? A serious <laughs> one, sir. The cast ever found, sir. No, she is not. We don't say what's wrong. Don't worry. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost walking here. Lift your hands and close your eyes. Just watch the precious. Take us through some. Yes, you are God, Elohim. Patient. Listen, I just want you to love on him. Delight, man. I mean, no fear. Man, no fear. Just delight yourself. Lift your hands up. Okay, let's just watch it. You were God. Oh, hallelujah. Can I see your two hands up, church? Rain, oh. rain. Hallelujah, Jesus. 
There is none like you, God. It's gentle trusting you for let there be a supernatural visitation send my ravens send my widows send my angels the angels are supernatural helpers you can bomb with somebody who will do something for you are you in the house lift your hands up for me say oh lord no no, no. do it my way say oh lord oh lord as i clap and i pray 
I clap and I pray. I receive supernatural provision. I receive supernatural provision. Can you clap and begin to pray? Supply three times. Supply, supply, supply. The Lord said to tell them, get ready. That's all I had. But you're not clubbing. They can Alex come. The Lord said this year, get ready for elevation. Elevation. Elevation, particularly in the area of business, you shall be lifted, you shall be promoted, and it will stir up the heart of some people envy and jealousy. Nobody can do anything about it because you owe nobody an apology for walking in the blessing God has redeemed yes, your Lord. life. And it's coming, it's coming. You will hit some serious targets and it will move the company to quickly move you to another level. And I'm seeing that. I won't be surprised that you'll be released to even go abroad just to go and expand your horizon in the area of pursuit and come back and come and be a blessing to your company. I release that blessing. My goodness. Ah, and I see the effects. A new car and a new house. You are not clapping. As you are clapping, they've gone. Whoa! That, that, that daughter there. Uh, sweetie, come here. Run to me. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Malaka Bahaya. Are you from the Wa area? Lift your hands up for me. Palatashta Karadita. Impala la kate kola di shita barandika kaya kadasta karadi. Touch. Can you stretch your hands on here? Man la 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 haya. All of you stretch your hands on here. Kabalata kali tataya. You are praying that any arrow from the north, particularly from the Wa area, you come here. Run, run to me. Touch her for me. Malahai, there's an attack from the north. I don't know why, but I use her as a point of contact. Niko Shabali. And I revoke it. Yes, Lord. I will do call. One one no just to move you to love him. Break. 
Can be pay and be hold torture. Where do you come from? Huh? You come from what? You come from what? We agree from your town of nativity and we command fire to break that curse now. Break, yes, Lord. What? Anybody who has taken you anywhere to do any ritual, any juju against huh. your life, I see you escape that trap. Man. I said, I see you escape that trap. Man. I said, I see you escape that trap. Man. And I see supernatural provision. Yes, Lord. In the same way, I lay hands and I bless you to for standing in. Receive the blessings of God. Yes, Lord. Take marriage. Man. You are not clapping at all. Huh. It's done. I'm showing you what it. Lift your hands up for me. Father, I release an anointing. Yes, Hey. I don't know if you can feel the witness of the anointing. As your hands are lifted, Spirit divine, move over those three women. Those three men you spoke to me about. They desperately need some supply within the next seven days. And God said, Can some ushers get in because anything is possible? God says, Supply is coming. Six people, three men, three ladies. Supply is coming. Supply is coming. Stand behind Viola for me. Supply. Supply. Hey. <laughs> Supply. Bala Ali Katisha. Papa Banga. Gilo Katasha. God is changing somebody's finances. Be careful, she's pregnant. The Lord will do something for you in seven hours. Seven hours. Ha! Stand behind the Jehovah. Oh, ma, 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 la, ha. Hey! Ma, ma, la, kadoshi, ta, ha. Stand behind our dear sister, Mami Eunice. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> in the name of Jesus I bless all of you in Jesus name clap and take your seats wow. hallelujah help him If you watch me online today and you join in, the power of God just came to your house. I see that lady watching. With the spirit of depression hunting you and you feel like committing suicide, you won't take your life. Take those drugs and throw them away right now. Go put them in the WC and flies them quickly. The man is coming back. I break the case. In Jesus' mighty name. There's a lady watching me. You have this tumor in your left breast. You're scared. She doesn't think it's cancer. Just check it. It just vanished. A supernatural surgery had been performed right now and you are healed. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, listen, we bless everyone here. And the Lord said, if you need a child, this will be the year you'll be pregnant. And the Lord said, if you need a job, this will be the year you'll get a job that pays very well. 
it is the year of your total restoration. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's clap for Jesus. We want to show our seats. Listen to me very attentively. Faith is lifted. The message was on the line of supernatural provision. But the widow did something. She gave her cake and gave her water to God. And God ensured that throughout the whole farming, her need was met as well. You want to take a seat. And those watching, you can consider sowing a seat today. And you're saying, Father, the message has blessed me. I'm the, like the widow of Zarephath. But I want to sow. Sometimes people think that if you don't have money, you don't give anything. The Bible says in Exodus that don't be, appear before the Lord with an empty hand. Certainly you have something to give to God. And so just look at those numbers on the screens and pick them. Sow. Let's see. More more something. If you are outside this jurisdiction, you can use wave. You wave, you know, your seed into the account. And God will bless you for sowing to support a worthy cause. But we are all sowing prophetic seeds. I need you to take your, your seed, lift them up for me. That could be your cake. That could be your water. The enemy may tell you times are hard financially, things are not good. But Elijah, Elijah said, think first about me. So take a seat and think about the work of God first. And let God also think about your business. Father, we bless every seed lifted as we come before you with our prophetic seed. It could be 100, it could be 50, 200, 100, 100, 10, 20. Your faith. But I pray that God will bless you as you sow the seed. In Jesus' much less name we've prayed. Amen. All right, do me a song quickly. Let's be snappy. God is able to do just what he said.